Hey guys, Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm here today at Patty Smith's Handcrafted Premium Burgers, newest outlet in Australia. It's in Upper Coomera, here in the Gold Coast. It only opened three days ago. So I'm gonna go through and have a look at some of the items on the menu and we'll sample perhaps a burger meal. Uh, they're uh, basically known for handcrafted premium burgers. Um, it's an American inspired menu and uh, we're gonna go and check it out right now. So come along with me and join the journey. So Patty Smith's uh, came onto the burger scene in 2018 with two stores in Melbourne. Uh, their whole concept is inspired by funky New York grill rooms and bars, and their aim is to create a truly great premium burger experience. Um, the name Patty Smith, uh, well that came from like a blacksmith or a silversmith. So um, someone that's obsessed with sourcing and using the finest premium ingredients to handcraft and create the ultimate burger experience. Um, each patty is actually carefully handcrafted using a premium blend of Wagyu and Angus beef. Um, they're always made fresh, they're not frozen. They then hand smash and grill the perfect sear to create a tender flavorful patty with a dark golden crust. And then that's obviously sandwiched between the layers of 100% fresh Aussie ingredients and their signature sauces. Now keeping in mind this is a, a premium burger outlet um, it's not a it's not a cheap um, outlet for burgers, but uh, they are handcrafted premium burgers. So hence uh, that the pricing is relative to that. So uh, we'll just run through this uh, menu here. I'll let you guys uh, sort of read it yourself, or you can uh, I guess you can pause it if you want to check out their pricing and anything particular. Uh, they also do like chicken wings as well, uh, spicy chicken wings. Um, they have kids meals and they do thick shakes and they do a sundae for a dessert as well. Okay, so I've got my food. Um, so I ordered the original Patty Smith's burger. So this is their trademark burger. Okay, so the original Patty Smith's burger. Um, I wanted a combo, so I got the fries and for the drink, I wanted a chocolate thick shake because that's also one of the things that they do here is the chocolate thick shakes or thick shakes in general. So I paid a total of, for the burger, it was $13 for the burger. Um, to add the fries and the drink, it was um, $5. However, because I, uh, I think you can grab just a standard drink, a soft drink uh, for in that price. Uh, because I wanted the milkshake or the thick shake, uh, they charged me an extra two dollars. So all up I paid twenty dollars for my burger meal So, you know, it is a bit more expensive, but it's a premium burger handcrafted So um, you get what you pay for so let's take a look at the food So the combo comes in a nice box nicely presented. It's got their logo on the top Handcrafted Patty Smith's premium burgers. Let's take a look at them at the meal. All right, so this is what we're dealing with here. Burger looks nice, nicely presented. And the chips look good, nice and golden. Uh, they're quite crispy, feeling on the outside. Adequate amount of salt. And let's have a look at, let's have a good look at the burger. Now the main thing they pride themselves on here is their um, their patties, so uh, basically the name, like a like a blacksmith, um, takes um, handcrafts their 
you know, their horseshoes and all sorts of things that blacksmiths do. Well, basically, a paddy smith does the same with paddies. So, um, I believe it's Angus meat. So, let's check out the inside here. We've got we've got ketchup and mustard. Uh, there is pickles, cheese, and obviously we've got the patty there. Uh, we've got decent slice of tomato, massive slice of tomato. Um, we've got the nice lettuce in there, so it's a nice piece of le lettuce. And then under the lettuce we've got um, we've got sauce or I'm not sure if that's. Let's have a look what that is. Have a quick taste. It actually tastes like an aioli on the bottom there. And the bun, sesame seed, it's like a nice, it's a very nice, very nice looking bun. Anyway, let's dig in and have a taste. All right, let's check it out. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, it's tasty. Mmm. You can really taste the meat, so it's a really, really nice flavor of meat. Mm, the meat is so well cooked, very tasty. Have a closer look here. Very fresh, um, definitely the lettuce, the tomato, um, all nice and fresh. It, that obviously, they're cooked while you wait, so um, everything is fresh, but it's really, really fresh tasting. It's really nice. Mm. It's not the biggest burger I've ever had, but it's certainly a, a quality burger with great taste. So, um, you know, again, you get what you pay for, but it's definitely a great tasting burger. Fresh ingredients, the meat is beautiful. From a messy perspective, it's not too bad at all. Actually, just a little bit of um, a little bit of sauce coming out the bottom there, um, which is just usual, I guess, for most burgers. Um, however, as I said before, it tastes great. Um, the ingredients are really fresh. Definitely the flavors in that patty, like the patty flavor is just really nice, really cooked to perfection. It's really tasting great, a, gr a great consistency, that patty. And with the bun and all the fresh ingredients, just, just tastes awesome. So this is their traditional burger. Um, I haven't tried obviously anything else yet, but um, based off this one, I guess uh, the rest of their menu would be um, pretty good. And now we'll try the chips. Well, they're, they're definitely a nice thick cut chip. Uh, I'm not sure if you can have a good look there or not, uh, whether it's focusing, but um, I don't think so. But they're nice and thick, so they're still quite hot. Uh, unlike other places where you have the uh, shoestring fries, they go cold after a minute. These are still nice and hot. They have a really nice crispy out, outside. No, oh. a really nice soft inside, cooked to perfection. Not too salty, but just the right amount of salt. So there's lots of flavor. So nice and crispy, heaps of flavor, nice and soft on the inside, beautiful. Mm. Now to try the chocolate thick shake. So um, it's a decent sized thick shake, bit of, bit of weight to that too, So uh, which is good. Um, so I just got the chocolate flavor. Uh, they do give you these uh, paper straws, so let's see how that lasts after a, a minute. But anyway, great for the environment. All right. Let's check out the chocolate milkshake. Sorry, chocolate thick shake. Mmm. 
Oh, that's really nice. Like a really old school chocolate thick shake. Um, it has the the uh, soft serve ice cream in there, and then they use the um, yeah, like I showed you before, the proper milkshake maker there. I tell you what, it tastes really good. That's like an old school chocolate thick shake. Definitely tasty, nice and chocolatey. It's not overpowering. It's not uh, it's not syrupy or it's not powdery. Just a really nice thick shake. Ah, well done. I'd have that again. So hey guys, so I finished my meal at Patty Smith's. Um, so again, I had the original Patty Smith's burger and I made uh, into a meal. Um, so I paid $13 for the burger. So that's the original Patty Smith's burger. Uh, in that burger, um, again, there's the, the beef patty, um, uh, American cheddar, pickles, ketchup, mustard, Patty Smith's sauce, which I think tasted a bit like aioli. Um, blanched onions, lettuce, and tomato. Uh, so a great tasting burger, uh, decent size burger. Not the biggest burger I've ever had, but certainly not on the small side. Um, uh, I, I got the combo, so I added $5 for the chips and drink. However, paid an extra $2 for the chocolate fix shake. So $20 I paid all up. Look, it, it is a premium burger outlet, so you get what you pay for. Um, $20, I'd have it again. It, it did taste great. Um, yeah, I'd definitely, I'd definitely spend that again. The thing that uh, Patty Smiths uh, do is they also do Korean chicken. So um, they've got a new brand out called Supreme Leader. So you can usually get that online on Uber Eats, I guess, or Menulog. Um, they have it in store. So if you go in store, you can buy Supreme Leader uh, Korean crispy chicken. So here's the here's the brochure here. I'll just show you. Now I haven't tried Supreme Leader Korean Chicken yet, so that will have to be another vlog. Um, but uh, just quickly looking at the menu, I'll, I'll give, show you the menu and you can have a look for yourself. Uh, and then if you wanna uh, stop and have a look at the pricing, you can just pause it. I have heard though that it is great chicken um, and um, nice and crispy. So we'll have to try this another time certainly certainly would be worth trying i believe you can also get supreme leader chicken from noodle box as well i think um, i'm pretty sure they're kind of part of that same group um, so yeah so they also do that <sighs> beautiful so that's going to do it guys today from patty smith's handcrafted premium burgers newest Australian store at Upper Coomera in the Gold Coast yes I would have it again yeah it's, it's a premium burger outlet you get what you pay for I enjoyed the meal um, it tasted great it was fresh um, thick shake was nice I'd have it again so if you are in the uh, Upper Coomera area um, come and try Patty Smith's beautiful um, I think they've got another few stores around the Gold Coast. I believe there's one in Merrimack and also one in Palm Beach that I know of. Um, and I'm sure they have um, popping up all over Australia as well. So definitely, if you love your American-inspired premium burgers, I'd get down to Patty Smith's and give it a go. Anyway, guys, that's about all I've got time for today. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to our channel, Jags Journeys, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up with all the fun journeys that we have. Also, it would be great if you leave a comment below. If you've tried Patty Smith's, I'd love to hear what your thoughts were to see whether you'd come back and eat it again or what your experience was here too. So if you uh, want to leave a comment below, I'd love to hear what you have to say about Patty Smith's, about your experience. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next journey.